Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's uh let's play some more Tuscan Trade Terror. Just cord three provinces. Bam bam bam. Next up is Lucania. This is all accepted culture. Uh, Cilician, on the other hand, is not. It's a uh, same culture group. It's definitely not gonna become an accepted culture. We gain a claim on Verona. Alright, that's uh that's Venice. They're not part of the Empire. They are in the Coalition. Coalition is just Genoa, Naples, Savoy, and Venice, so... Coalitions are only scary if the people that are in them are big. I mean, Austria has, like, no... It's one of the main advantages to allying them early on, is that they have, like, no aggressive expansion. Because they've been my ally this whole time. And Bavaria and Switzerland, they're, they're... I would be shocked if these people don't join the Coalition at some point, too. But... It's okay. It's gonna be all right. Now we could totally annex you if you liked me enough, but once again, I'm, I'm a bit behind. And unfortunately, actually, if we if we gain the final 67 points, we'd only be at 130. So it's gonna be a while. We're gaining 1.7 from Broke Alliance. We're gaining 3.4 from aggressive expansion. 1.7 from annexed vassal. Overall, we're gaining a lot more than we're losing. I might have to send him a gift, and then we could probably do it in about two or three years. That's one of the few things about E4 that I think could use some work still, is the, the peace. Peace in, in this game is a bit boring. Trade manipulation. We can get merchants steering toward inland. Trade steering. Uh, we're totally going to ignore the papacy and gain prestige, of course. Okay. Mercenary cost goes down. Trade steering goes up. Our trade steering is actually pretty darn good. So what that does is it takes your... So you take your trade power from transfer trader transfers from traders downstream. You take the amount of trade power that you actually have there. It's all multiplied together to get you 28.4. And then the 28 before is then multiplied by your trade steering value if it's being used to steer trade. So you look here and then you can see that right here we actually end up with 46.7, which is 64.3% more than... 28.4. You can do the math yourself. So that just means that uh, of the power that's pulling trade out, we have more power out of the outgoing notes. It's not actually giving us 67 or whatever the number was. Um, 47 out. It's not pulling 47 out, but it is saying that, okay, of the money that's going out, we are even better at making it go in this way. Does that make sense? I hope so. Oh, that's so sad. They are occupied by those noble rebels. I feel bad for them, kind of. Except for I don't. Alright, more temples. Absolutely. We'll build them on the coast here. Naval force limits still not met. I'm going to continue to pile on light ships until we get up to about 75% control of that node. I'm loving the power projection. Just lost a dude. Diplomatic reputation plus five guy. Looks like it's your turn. So that was our better relations over time guy that died. So it's going to reduce the rate that our aggressive expansion goes away. But, really, when you have 144 aggressive expansion, you don't really expect it to go away. You just expect the country to go away. And the next one, you know, the neighbor next to it to, to be upset. Hey, Austria's finally remembered that they were giving us money. <laughs> Thanks, Austria. I really do appreciate all that money. I mean, it's just hilarious. Austria... Austria has 
they do have... Oh, wow, they actually have 34 ships. How does that... Oh, that's right, they've got coastal territory up there. I was going to say, how, how do you have 34 ships off one, one port? But they inherited Burgundy, so... They're giving me all this money, and I'm just using it to make a huge navy. I mean, we probably still have the, one of the largest navies in the game. Yeah, we do. It's all light ships, too. Waste not. We want trade power. Trade power. Now, this is a campaign that I would like to carry on for quite a while. I want to see just how much money we can make by doing the expansion eastward. We're, we're not going to be able to colonize unless we aggressively move into Tripoli, Tunisia, Algiers, that whole thing. Which we might need to do. That's also another great way that we can escape the aggressive expansion that we're looking at. Because again, these are all Catholics that are, are pissed off at me. And some Orthodox. Pretty sure Bosnia is Orthodox, right? Yeah, the Ottomans, they don't care at all. They have no concerns. So what we can do is the same thing that I did in, my, in the multiplayer campaign. I can... Um, I can give just enough money to these guys so that I can fabricate a trade claim and then just go fight them, vassalize them. We're going to maintain that diplomat with France. France is a, a pivotal person to us right now. If we lose France, then I would probably lose, a, lose to a coalition war, possibly. Not the coalition members directly, but whichever one of them calls in their allies. Apparently I actually managed to accrue 160 points, somehow. Okay, that looks like that'll be it. That'll put us at 51, slightly over the force limit. Very excited for the next one here. National Trade Income Modifier plus 10 and an extra merchant. That is pretty sick. We did pick up a theologian, which would be kind of nice right about now. We could also declare the statute of whatever that thing is. Actually, we could have done that earlier. Um, or no, apparently we can't. Oh, that's right, because the Papal State is no longer my neighbor. No, they do hate me. Why can't I do that one? Ruler has an administrative skill of at least two, okay. Apparently we suck so bad that we just can't do that. We'd have to re-elect this guy if we wanted to pass that. Well, anyway, the Advancement of Religion Act is... Uh, mm, we'll hold off on it. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want it. I mean, I think I want it. We do not want to become a merchant republic, ever. We're going to stay as a trade, a uh, noble republic. I think the noble republic is far superior. Alright, this will be interesting. What's this? The nation of France, your faithful allies, requesting that you come to their aid in the French conquest of Metz against Alsace. Austria will protect them, so we're going to end up at war with the emperor. Alright, let's take a look at who they're hostile to. Um, Austria doesn't actually have any land that I want. We're going to accept, but we're not going to actually really be able to do anything. We could march in and siege Austria. Unless Austria fails to defend them. Which is possible. If they're scared enough, they might refuse to honor the call. Nope, they decided they would. Alright, we are at War Savoy. Can we afford to leave this province unguarded? Kind of stinks to have to do that, but uh, this guy actually has siege value too. We're not going to get anything out of this. We're a, sec a se uh, smaller partner. Well, let's uh, let's head over that way. I think my navy's safe, right? Is it? Seventeen light ships. Yeah, we should be okay. Make sure they're all together, though. That way, anything they run into, they'll just plow through it. Let's go take care of the six stack, and then I'm going to go back to defending. We'll maintain relations with you. 
Yeah, it's going to take a little while to get them annexed. Nasty mountains. They have a pretty good leader, but we have cannons and they don't. Okay, um, I'm going to combine everything and then detach. Here comes a pretty nasty force from Austria with a 4-4 commander. Now, Cuneo's mountains, plains, and hills. I'm not going to try to siege. We'll be there on the 4th. Looks like we're going to defend here. We're going to combine everything, select army. Yes, stay attached to me, Milan. Don't leave. So I took a crossing penalty into the mountains. This couldn't have worked out better for us. He's effectively a 1-1 versus our 2-5. And we have cannons and they don't. Only two of them, but still. And France is coming in to reinforce. So. Limitless manpower here in this fight. Go to hell, Austria. Thank you for helping me in my previous war. Seriously, but... Um. Uh-oh. My army can't get there till the 1st, 29th. Shoot, I shouldn't have chased that army. Because now we're going to have a fight here in Lombardia, which is probably going to be planes. We only have one maneuver. They've got zero maneuver, though. There's a guy there with three. It'll probably be planes. France, you need to come help me. Nope. Awesome. We actually did get the mountains. So again, this is even better. So 2-4 versus our effective 5-8. But still, they have more morale than we do. France is preoccupied with another battle. Ugh. I really could use some reinforcements here, France. Please? Please? Come help. Never mind, I didn't need help. I was kidding. Wow, they even got Hungary involved. Crying out loud. France! Come help. You need to help. It's the general... It's the Austrian king himself. France, get over here. I'm holding the mountain, but I need your help. Seriously. I need to get the hell out of this province. And it is working out okay, but it, ugh, ugh. let's get up to Piedmont, where it's more likely to be mountains. Just I feel a lot safer in that province. And the supply limit is 26. Our army is actually, I think, more than that. Five, and yeah, it's only 27. So we'll only suffer a tiny bit of attrition here. Yeah, sure, you can have access. So there goes most of my manpower, probably. We are still making money, though. That's always a good sign. Not much, but some. Let's see. Milan has claims on this land. I'm going to go ahead and check off the box to let the war leader negotiate for me. And we're going to go to Cuneo. Genoa is not part of this war. But we're going to try to siege these two provinces. I should really continue to help them. Shouldn't I? How close is this war? They have more infantry. They, yeah, I need to help. If France loses, then they're going to come and really, really punish me. Why are you fighting here? This is a really bad idea. Alright, well, me helping just made it so that that was... Now we can be the defender in this mountain. Alright, now, France, if you want to win the war, let me just teach you how it works. You just just stay here. Just don't chase them. Let's go back to Wallace. Crossing penalty. We should probably help there. He is going to go and reinforce... France has no leader there. They're going to help. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll commit if you're going to commit. I feel like I'm really throwing my hat in here. 
The office of prince is challenged by enemies within and without, and thus a strong personal bodyguard is essential to ensure that he remains in power. The turbulent politics of our time require this, but there are those who decry it, claiming that this new trend displays aristocratic tendencies and subverts the traditions of the Republic. I don't want... This is this is what this is. This is um, heading towards becoming a monarchy, and we don't want that. So we're going to say it would violate our Republican ideals. Okay, good. Austria is not trying to reinforce... We're gonna we're gonna stick with France. We're gonna we're gonna play the good ally. And hell, we'll even hire some mercenaries. Let's hire some infantry. We have ideas that reduce their cost. I just hope that they don't get sniped before they can get up with the main host. This is a war of the century. Okay, you're trying to come to Constans. I need to connect with my mercenaries. If we can safely get into this province, we can safely reinforce if France gets attacked, but I have a, a quick little route to get these mercenaries in. Looks like they're going to go after the army in Constans. They're going to take a crossing penalty, hopefully into the mountains. Again. I want to just wait up for a second here. And then go reinforce. Alright, well, I'm going to take a break here, though. Um, I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon.